There rises a sitting man, our veterist. So ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Gold! Oh, you think I'm just making an ass of myself, huh? No, 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 I'm not. I would never do that. I'm imitating you. That is what it looks like. That is your asses swabbling. Yeah, if you sort of go down about a half a meter like that, and you check the other ones, what they are doing, this is what you would see. Do you feel it? I shake it to you. Do you know what causes your asses to wobble like that? You got any clue? What's that? The bass, yes! You're not so dumb. Standing on two thin legs, starting at the bottom, going all the way to the top. It's our Grandmaster Ass Wobbler. Who's responsible for all this ass wobbling? Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Gold! A sweet autumnal drizzle over Brooklyn and New York. And I don't know about you, but uh, this drizzle sure is making me a little wet. So, uh, are you wet? Me too. We've come to a part of our stage that we refer to as the cage. And within this cage, we keep two lionesses. I use the word keep lightly, but in this case it's kind of true, because you see these chains, and I know that they might appear slightly cheap plastic chains, but they are not at all. They're actually very, very, very heavy and effective. Because they're, they are there for your protection. Because had there not been any chains there, at eight o'clock tonight, what the first thing that would have happened is that our ferocious lionesses would have just skipped the the stage and they would just jump in to where you're standing and they will have torn you new assholes! It would have been very messy, it would have been bloody, it would have been no show, a complete shit show. But thanks to these chains, we have a show. So you're welcome! Let me introduce to you the first lioness. Playing pianos. But also soaring lead since. And an absolutely emasculating guitar! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up 
There's so many smart people here in, in the New York area, so I'm sure that you have your high school points. You might have noticed that I mentioned lionesses. That is plural and that indicates there are more than one. Yes. So, let me introduce to you our second lioness. Hammering her claws on the clavier and shaking the shit out of the tambourine and roaring beautiful female vocals for you ladies and gentlemen give it up for Now I know perfectly well it's a Saturday night and we're sort of prolonging this maybe into the where it starts to itch a little. Anyway, I just want to take this opportunity to talk to you now. Because you're here and we're having this beautiful night together and it's unfortunate there is no drizzle outside. It's kind of wintry and cold, right? Yeah, this is the dark season. And you know in the dark season, some people, some of you, are not so happy. It's the dark season that some people see it as a sad time. Maybe you're not the one right now that is on the bottom, but you might be on life size, where everything is just peachy. So you don't have to take this to your heart then because you don't care. But if you happen to be one of those people who are currently in a little bit more of a, a low, I want you to try to remember that, you know, as long as you have that little, those spirits somewhere, maybe sleeping inside, you're never entirely alone. And you know, things always change. No matter how rotten they are, it has a tendency to develop forward. You know how sometimes you can, you can cut your hand, and it might be a deep cut, and it might be so deep that bone is showing. And it might even require stitches. And it hurts like hell. And it feels like you almost lost your head. And for days you have these stitches, and for a long time you cannot use your hand because it hurts too much. And you cannot even think of something else but the pain. But what happens over time is that those, that throbbing pain sort of transforms into more of an itch. <laughs> 